Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the Valorant issue that pops up with a warning like this one where it says Windows cannot access the specified device, path or file. Now it's a relatively quick and easy one to fix but it does require you to go through a few different options to find the solution that works for you. So the first thing we can do to fix this issue is to right click on the Valorant app and to come over to properties. And then from here we want to come into the compatibility section and we want to ensure that run this program as administrator and also the disable full screen optimizations is checked and then we could go ahead and press apply and OK to save our changes. Once we've done that we can then relaunch the Valorant app to see if that solves the issue. If that doesn't solve the issue we can actually try creating a shortcut of Valorant directly linking to the application. To do this we want to right click somewhere on our desktop and then come to new and then shortcut. We then need to hit this browse button and we need to search for the Valorant app. Now the executable file can be found in the C drive and then you need to come down to Riot Games and then Valorant and then you could just select the Valorant app. And then we hit OK and then press next and then over to finish. Now from here you can see that it's created a shortcut to the app and we can try double clicking this to see if the game works. Now if you're still experiencing an issue the next thing we need to rule out is any antiviruses or firewalls that might be blocking the app. If you are running an antivirus program like Avast or Norton, then I would suggest temporarily disabling them to see if it makes any difference. But we also need to create a firewall exception for the Windows firewall itself. So we can achieve this by coming to the start menu by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard and then searching for Windows security. And then we can just select the Windows security icon and we want to scroll down and come to firewall and network protection. And then we can just select allow an app through firewall. Now in here before we can make any changes we need to click the change settings button and then we can come down to allow another app. And now from here we want to click browse and again we want to find the Valorant app. So that can be found in our C drive, underneath Riot Games, underneath Valorant, live and then Valorant and we can select open. We then need to hit add to add this to our exception rule. Now once again before we finished here we want to select allow another app again. And we want to come to browse and this time we need to come to the shooter game folder underneath binaries underneath win64 and then we just want to select this valorant win64 one and select open and select add and now we want to find valorant from this list here and we want to make sure that both private and public is selected and then we can hit ok to save our changes again you can try to see if the issue is resolved but if not i have one more solution for you guys so once again we need to head to the start menu by pressing the windows key and then we want to search for cmd and now we just right click on this command prompt and you want to make sure to run as administrator and now in this little black box window we need to type in a couple of commands so the first thing that you want to type in is sc space delete space vgc and hit enter and then the next thing you want to type in is sc space delete space vgk and hit enter and then we can close the command prompt and make sure to restart your computer and then once your computer's restarted we come over to the file explorer and now from here we want to come to the c drive and then underneath program files we want to find a folder that says riot vanguard and we can just right click this and press delete now we're only going to be able to delete this folder if you've restarted your computer otherwise it's not going to let you delete it so make sure you have restarted your pc before trying this now all we need to do is open up the riot app and as you can see here it now comes up with an update for Valorant so we just click this and go through with the update it's basically telling us to reinstall Vanguard so we can go ahead and do that and once you've updated the app that should now have fixed all of your problems if you still are experiencing an issue then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you otherwise please drop a like and subscribe if this video did help you until next time